Hi guys, welcome back to another video. I am traveling around the UK for an entire month. Um, I've sort of made this a tradition with myself where I travel at the beginning of autumn. If you've been following along on my journey, I have been to Manchester. I spent a good amount of time in the countryside. I was just in London for five days, which was a beautiful and magical experience, but I just took the train into Bath, England. I arrived last night, and when I first arrive in a new place, I like to kind of take it in without worrying about doing videos or pictures or anything, just to kind of like be very mindful and present about it. And I was walking around the city, and I've come to the conclusion that it's beautiful and perfect so much, in fact, that it is, it's kind of stupid how beautiful and perfect it is. So I'm very excited to catch capture this place because it won't take a lot of work like I'll just have to put my camera up and you'll, you'll see how perfect and beautiful it is. It has this kind of village like feel while also being a little bit more modern and it has that rich like Roman history and it's also like Jane Austen country. It's extremely unique. This is a very unique city. It's unlike any other city that I've visited so far here in England. So I'm excited to explore more of it and kind of take you guys along with me. I have three nights here. I just spent the first night last night, so I have basically like two more days pretty much. It is raining today a little bit, which is great because it definitely feels like autumn. I'm going to put my raincoat on. I have my umbrella, which I am glad that I ended up bringing that umbrella because now I'll get to use it. There's a bunch of cute like little vintage shops and coffee shops, and there was like an art museum that I wanted to go to. I also want to just say thank you to everyone that was in my DMs telling me that I need to go to Bath because you were right. This, this, it's like a city that feels like it was tailor made for me. And yeah, let's, so let's go explore this stupidly perfect city together. <laughs> I just want to say to anyone that has been telling me that it is not autumn yet and that it's only September and you shouldn't start celebrating the season too early, I just want to tell you and I just want to show you to look at this tree here because this tree, this tree thinks it's autumn and I also think it's autumn so we're on the same page and I feel very validated at the moment because if the earth is telling you that it's autumn, it's autumn. and. Look at the rain, look at the leaves on the ground, look at the tree, feel the energy in the air like autumn is here. And I'm so happy because this is just the best time of year. And I just love the rain. How can anyone not love the rain? It's just filled with uh, rebirth and rejuvenating energy. And oh, I just love the change of the season. I feel it so cosmically in me. I wanted to stop and update you guys a little bit because today has been quite a day. This is also just like a beautiful background that I have going on right here. First things first, I visited the Holborn Art Museum, which was a beautiful small little art museum. I love small museums because I feel like I can really like indulge in every single part of them without feeling overwhelmed or like I'm never going to be able to get through it. Fun fact, 
I am related to George Romney, who's a painter. Oh, I saw one of his paintings for the very first time in real life. It was a little bit of a surprise, so that was cool. After that, I kind of just walked around and I went into some shops sound like vintage stores and there was like some good thrifting around here there's a lot of really good like vintage shops here if you're ever in town they're like literally just like all over the place i just went to the roman baths which was amazing like oh my gosh first of all like the museum that was sort of centered around it was really really cool and to actually be able to see the baths that they used was amazing and like all the history around it everything they did in like the Roman Empire, like very mystical, like the way they would like offer things to the goddesses in the baths. Yeah, they kept talking about how like, um, you know, like travelers and pilgrims would come here um, to kind of escape mundane life. And that's kind of what I'm doing. So I feel like now I have to like sacrifice something and like sacrifice something to the goddesses. But now I want to go take a bath back in my Airbnb, like a really, really hot bath and like pretend that I'm like in the Roman Empire taking a bath. It's so cool. This is such an interesting area. Oh my gosh. I am getting ready for the day. Got my makeup here. It's actually my last day here in Bath, which is so sad because I love Bath. It's so beautiful. If you are ever visiting England, Bath is a, it is an absolute essential. The city is perfect. My plans today are to go to the Jane Austen Center. Uh, like I said, this is Jane Austen country. So there's like a little museum here that kind of chronicles her life as a writer. And I'm really excited to see that because obviously like i love jane austen i don't know if i mentioned this earlier but bridgerton was actually filmed here in bath so i was thinking i was gonna go like look at some of the bridgerton filming locations after i mean, I mean yesterday honestly it was kind of beautiful like just walking around in the rain but like after a while it's kind of like okay i want to you know be able to like set my camera up and like do a bunch of stuff but it's like hard when it's like rainy and windy and everything's like falling over but that's okay it'll probably just be like on and off right like it just stopped raining so hopefully it stays like that for a while also, I like, I'm wearing my hair like this today because it's getting to the point in my travels where I just like, I can't deal with it, you know? So I was like, we're just going to do like a little like bun moment. And I think it's actually kind of cute. I just realized I'm on day 16 of my travels, which means I am officially halfway through my trip. Um, cause it's technically this, this trip is 34 days in total. Oh my gosh. I like, I can't even remember my life before this trip who I was, what I was doing, the mundane, like, I just, like, I can't even, like, fathom it, if that makes sense. And, like, 16 days doesn't sound like a lot, but so much can happen to you in 16 days. Like, so much can change for you in 16 days, and that's just, like, how I feel right now. And it's just kind of insane, and I can't imagine doing another 16 days. Like, I'm still, like, so excited and, like, you know, feeling that adventurous energy, but there are times where I'm just like, oh my god, I'm so tired and I miss my room. I'm, I'm very happy and grateful to be here. And I'm excited for this day that I'm about to have because it's my last day here in Bath and I want to make the most of it. I try not to plan things out too much in advance because I want to be a little bit spontaneous.
this view that's behind me is perfect and I don't remember if I filmed it on my camera this morning or not but the fog was amazing it's been like foggy and rainy the entire time I've been here but this morning I just looked out into the city and it was like the horizon completely faded into the sky because of how much fog there was and it was one of the most like eerie and beautiful like picturesque like linings of the sky that I've ever seen. It was so cool. I captured that picture on my film camera, so I'm really excited to see how that one turned out. Bath by far has been the most intellectually stimulating city that I've visited so far. I visited Jane Austen Center this morning, which is a lovely museum about her life and her time here in Bath because she of course lived here. You know, I always knew like Jane Austen never married and like, she, you know, she spent her entire life writing these romantic stories and never marry that's like you know that's part of her story i found out today that she was actually engaged for 12 hours before breaking it off inevitably i think if you you know spend your life writing these like like such romantic stories it does probably set your standards pretty high but i think it's better to be alone than be with the wrong person that is what i have learned in my experience after jane austen center i walked into this like smaller museum that was just kind of like a bunch of random stuff I, I walked in there because it was raining and i didn't have my umbrella and it said it was like a free museum so i was like okay whatever i just went in there and i walk in there and there's like this um picture on the wall it's like a black and white photo like film photography photo when i was vlogging yesterday i was sitting on a bench in front of this church i kind of like showed it to you guys and i didn't realize at the time but i saw this picture in the museum and it had a plaque under it and it said that mary shelley lived here in 1816 and she wrote most of the novel Frankenstein right there living there on that street that I was sitting at and I was just like there vlogging and I like I didn't even know so like there's literally just culture and history like all around me at all times and it's like incredibly inspiring. It is currently five o'clock so I'm gonna go out onto the town there was like this vintage store that I wanted to pop into so we're gonna go do that I'm gonna go get some more cute shots I need to do some more film photography here because I've mostly been worrying about this YouTube video but I need to get some like cool film photography shots around town before I leave tomorrow, so. I took some notes about my feelings and my thoughts for this vlog. I feel the theme of this vlog is sort of about um, learning and obtaining knowledge and just being very curious about the world around you. I don't talk about this a ton on my channel, but like I didn't go to college for a myriad of reasons. You know, anytime I like walk around a university campus, I feel, you know, like I kind of missed out on something. So the academic world is something that I've always been uh, just sort of like envious over. But at the same time, I know that I don't like thrive in a school setting. That's like always been true about me. I find my best way of learning is more hands-on. I like going to museums. I like reading books. I'm horrible at taking tests. I just, I can't seem to focus in a school setting. I've been like this since I was really young. Like I would be in class, you know, like 10, 11, 12. And like my teacher said that I would just like black out and like, not like black out, but like I would just, they would look at me and it's not like I was deliberately not trying to pay attention. It was like I was somewhere else in my mind. Like I was just, you know, like daydreaming or just thinking about something else at all times. And I would just like drift off and like go into other worlds. And this made it impossible for me to do well in school, which is why I like sort of learning in this hands-on way, like going to museums and experiencing the world because I feel like I can truly be in it, you know? I had this like deep yearning for knowledge and this sort of like emotional intelligence that didn't really thrive in a school like setting. And I just wanted to say this because I think there are a million different ways to 
learn about the world. And there's a million different ways to be smart, at, just like there's a million different ways to be beautiful or be funny. And everyone sort of is these things in like their own way. And you just have to figure out like which way you're going to be that thing. I'm never going to be like just textbook smart. Like I am not the Rory Gilmore character in the story. And that's okay. Because I'm smart in my own way. And I'm curious. And I think being curious is a beautiful thing. And asking questions is a beautiful thing. I always like to ask, like when I'm at the museums, I like to ask, you know, what uh, like favorite piece, like from like the curators and the people that work there, I like to ask what their favorite is because they get really passionate about it. And I love, you know, sort of learning in that way. And yeah, I just really love Bath because it's sort of, it's enlightened this like very like curious part of my soul, which is always exciting. I'm going on a major, major side quest tomorrow because I'm going to do some like family history stuff. So I'm not really going to be vlogging it because number one, it's going to be kind of personal. And number two, uh, it's going to be really, it's going to be a fast stop. I'm only staying in Preston for one night. And it's going to be very like detective like work because I don't know like exactly where I'm going and I'll kind of have to like find my way around and like find these like random, my dad's a history professor, right? So he mapped out like a family history tour for me basically, but it's not, it, it's not going to be easy. It's going to be like, like, like I'm going to be like boots on ground, like doing some detective work. So I'm excited for that actually. And I will definitely tell you guys about it later on and I will definitely be writing about it. But yeah, I am ending off the vlog here. I do have a Patreon if you want to see bonus videos. Um, Instagram, Pinterest, TikTok will all be linked down below. I still have a few more videos in my travel diary series. So subscribe if you want to follow along. I love you guys and I will see you in my next one. Bye.